everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to change to an R6 animation on Roblox Studios. So let's get right into this YouTube video. So basically, an R6 animation is like, if you played any obby that's like, you know, like a difficulty hobby or something, that kind of like, animation kind of thing, like for your character, how that like, animation is. So first you're going to want to load up uh, Roblox Studios, which will come like, downloaded with uh, Roblox. You're going to want to, like, double tap on it to open it. And then just equip, like, whatever you want. Any of these, it doesn't matter. It can be any of them. I'll just equip, I'll s start a classic base plate. Then, you're going to want to just, like, like, you're going to, uh, like, if you hit play. So, first thing is, if you hit play, then this is what an R if R15 looks like. This is, like, horrible for obbies. Because let's say you're trying to do a wrap round or something. This doesn't work because your hands are like way in the way. It just doesn't work. So, you know, you hit stop or whatever on it. And then you go to game settings. You hit publish. So you have to publish your game first and call it whatever. So, yeah, I mean, I don't, I'm not going to call it anything, but like you can or test. You hit create. And you can put a description if you want, all that stuff. You go to game settings. Again, you click on game settings again. You go to here. There's permissions, which you can turn it to public and friends. Uh, monetization, which you got some badges, paid access, private servers. Paid access means like that they have to pay to go into like to get into this like your game. Private servers are just um, like enabling private servers in your game. Security. Allow HTTP requests and enable studio access to API servers. Just you should just always do that. It, it just, like, it helps with a lot of uh, animations on Roblox and stuff. You have to have these two enabled. So just enable them at all times. It would just help, too. Just, it's better. And then, you want to, uh, like, places is just shows max players. You can change, uh, edit and change max players here. Uh, you got localization, which is just... Kind of like the language and stuff. Then you got avatar. You want to go to the avatar. Yeah, you want to go to the avatar button. And the avatar type is R6 right here. And you want to click on that. And then there will be this, but there will be like this caution mark. But don't worry about that. Because when you hit save, like it will just shut down the servers that are running. But you're not going to have any servers running at this point, so it doesn't matter. World shows like gravity stuff and stuff like that and shut down enable collaborate collaborative editing which means you can edit with multiple people. So yeah, you'd hit save, you just hit yes, because changing the game's avatar type to this setting will shut down any running game. So basically shutting down any server. You hit yes and you hit play. And you'll notice that because of changing it to R6 T or R R uh, R6 now, it's a normal, like, a normal avatar like this. Like, a normal animation that's, like, easy. Like, when you're doing parkour, it's easy. So, yeah, that's, it's very simple. And the biggest reason of why I was, I'm making this video is because when I was making, when I started out making obbies, or, like, when I started making my first obby on Roblox or difficulty to obby, I could not figure out at all how in the world to make a... Uh, make the animation like this. I could not figure it out until finally I was like asking a bunch of developers. It in one and finally one person they told like they told me the answer to it. So yeah, I don't remember their username, but still, thank you so much for telling me that because that really really helped me a lot. Because now you know you can make games. This is like you need this for an uh, a difficult job. If you don't have an R six uh, player. Like an R6 like animation thing, you cannot make a uh, difficult obby. It doesn't. It just doesn't work. Because otherwise, the obby would be really extremely hard, and definitely just not easy. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna going to make a video sometime on how to make a difficulty chart obby on Roblox, and how to add art reset and alignment keys, all that stuff. Everything, uh, leader stats, so like it shows your stage and everything, all of the good stuff. I'll definitely make a video on that soon. But yeah, if you guys have any videos you want me to make or video suggestions, leave them in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell, and turn it to all, and I'll see you next video. Bye, everybody.